Hello everybody. So some people have asked me to show them how to remove or uninstall the non-Steam games. So uh, here's a little video for it. So let's say um, I've added a non-Steam game uh, onto my Steam Deck. So let's see which one I don't want. Uh, okay, let's say this one. This one is um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge and uh, Dimension Shellshock. So I installed this uh, a few days ago and let's say I don't want it anymore. And this is a non-Steam game, as you can see. If I go to properties, so this is what it's got. So it's a Proton Experimental. Yeah, so normally you could just, you could just actually uh, right click it and then manage and then remove non-Steam game from library, it would delete the prefix folder that I created. So, uh, but maybe you can't see it. So let's see, let's say we want to find that folder where it's located. So let's go to Proton Tricks. So make sure you've installed Proton Tricks. And okay, we go to Proton Tricks and then here, look, non-Steam game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. Dimension shell shot, and then you can see this number three eight two eight six seven one nine four nine. This is the folder. So let's go into our let's go into our uh, file manager. Okay, go to home, and then make sure the three lines here on the top right. Make sure show hidden files is checked because we need to go to this hidden folder dot steam, and then steam um, steam apps compact data see here so these are where all the prefix folders are stored so for my specific game teenage mutant ninja turtles this one three eight two eight six okay so three eight okay let's sort by name three eight okay this one should be this one three eight two eight six okay nine four nine yeah, yeah this one this one okay so this is the folder this is the folder that uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is stored in. All the prefix, so all the saves and all that is saved here. So, let's say we go here and remove it. Remove non-Steam game from library. Okay, so that, that did it. It's removed from our Steam library. But we want to make sure that the prefix folder is Cleared. See here, all the all the data is gone, and I got a compact data three eight. You see that the whole folder is actually gone. That three eight uh three eight two eight six. You see, we don't have three eight two eight six anymore. The whole folder is deleted. So that's a clean uh, delete of the prefix folder. And then all you have to do is uh, locate the game folder. So this is the game folder. This is where all this is where my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the game is installed. The, the exe. You can just delete this if you don't want it anymore on your Steam Deck. You can delete it, but I, I actually want it because I might I won't play it. So I'm just going to keep it here. So that's one way to delete if you added a non-Steam game. Okay, I almost forgot. Um, there's also a shader cache. So you also want to delete the shader cache that it created. So instead of going into the compact data, see home.steam, Steam, Steam apps, there's compact data and there's also a folder called shader cache. So when you when you remove the non-Steam game, it removes the compact data, the prefix folder, but it doesn't remove the shader cache. So if you remember my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 38286, it's here. Uh, yeah, here, see here? 38286-71949. This one, yep. Double confirm it. So this is the shader cache folder so you can delete this if you've already deleted the game so how much shader cache oh it's not a lot for this game it's a 3.1 megabytes but yeah since you've already deleted the game you can just delete this so move to trash yeah just delete it and clean your uh, trash box uh, if you install the game on Lutris actually you just um, See here, I've got a Lutris game that I've installed through Lutris, Sea of Stars. I could just remove, and then it'll, you can like take this, delete, and it'll actually delete the game folder. So 3.6, uh, sorry, 4.6 gigabytes. This is actually here. This is actually in my home, games. So I installed it into games, and then Sea of Stars. 
So this is where, where the photo is. See this 4.6 or 4.3? Well, it's actually 4.6 here. So I think it's reading this one. Yeah, 4.6. Yeah, so that's where it's got to delete. I don't want to delete it. So that's how you delete the games um, for a clean de delete. So you delete all the prefects. So the Windows environment, any save data you got, and, and then you delete the game folder. Yeah, so that's about it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.